First you're going to need these. They'll help. And also I'll use a magnet to pick up any bits of metal. Doing it on a piece of plastic that always helps containing your mess. Going to show you how to strip a computer board for all the gold. You can start anywhere you want, but I'll mainly go for light fingers here, these here, along there. Gold bits here, here, these, these strips, these strips. These all down. Have that off there, you can see gold on that. Also, this, these boxes over the back here, all got gold terminals on. Do it bit by bit so you can see what I'm doing I'm starting with this and there's loads of little bits in that that's going to fall out these are capacitors these will come off all off the board before I do anything you do have to read the board because anything with a C on is capacitor and anything that ain't would be marked differently like we've got some R's there and other bits but it's the C's you want notice in front of the screwdriver we have an L and it's black, different colour we don't want that one or if you do, chuck it in a different jar. But that's the one you want to remove. Another one, things like this are jar up. What I tend to do is go around the outside, score in the edge. Score the edge on the inside. Go around three or four corners. Get that in and lift it up from underneath. Scored that round three edges, not four, but it'll just pull off and into another jar. So that ends up with gold in one pot. These in another pot, and you've got your capacitors in another jar and whatever else you're collecting, so on and so on. Things like that you might want to remove. As you can see, there's like a spring this side. There's a spring this side. And as you can see there, that pushes down, come towards me. And then this casing comes off. Once that's been done, should be able to get the screwdriver under the edge that should just flick up like so things like the crystals just go in there with these like so give them a twist and just pull it off nice and easy like so breaks one end you just do the same so you meet in the middle do the same for this end the better way of tackling that I would find would be just mashing it over one way back again the other and as you can see they're coming off well easy Oh, 
hard work. Just got to watch the fingers. And obviously everywhere they go. Some of them you just can't be delicate with. But just be careful of the hands. These are gonna be the same. Really easy to just they're a lot really easy. Just bend them back and forth. Just fall off. Another really easy way you just be to bend it back and forth with a screwdriver. When you get to this stage, just be careful because that does break on top, not always, but a lot of the time it does. Just trying to prise it off the board, and they just work like that until I've loosened it off. As you can see, the board's getting emptier and emptier. By the time you've got round all your little bits, that ball would be empty.